Hello everyone, welcome to this fourth and final video in this video series. It's a bonus video where I've been teasing throughout the course about how to use quick start to quickly accelerate the growth of your website. And this video is going to cover just that. There's going to be a lot of repeat um, functions that we're going to be going through. This is more of a test I suppose for you to see how well you paid attention and to see how well you grasp the concept. But this also shows you now exactly how easy it is for you to get a website up and running using pre-used uh, or pre-ready pre content at least. Okay, so the website that you're looking at right now is from joomdev.com and they offer a whole range of different uh, products in regards to Joomla and one of them or some of them being free quick start templates. So as you have a look here, you can see all these different designs available are for you to use for free completely. Um, let's just have a look at one real quick. Let's look at the JD Boston. Let's click on the demo function. And obviously you can download it if you want. I have an actual fact got a download on my desktop already that I'll be using and it'll be the JD Atlanta one. But um, let's just have a look at the JD Boston quick. This is a quick start and what the quick start for this tent that comes with so as you can see it, it might look pretty advanced it's actually really beautiful but really editable as well and I'm going to just help you guys set this up and show you how to get to this point where you can start editing your own templates your own quick start templates at least okay so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to download the program right here you click on your download and you download the quick start. Yeah, we have different options available. If you want, you can download just the template, the entire quick start, the standalone, or or as well as uh, download uh, Kuna, which is a forums uh, extension. Allows your website to actually have a forum sort of uh, discussion uh, threads available. It has also a lot of information available for you of uh, third party. Uh, extensions as well as how you can install it. It basically gives you basic. You can use the standard Joomla installer, compatibility, a bit of screenshots, all the information here yeah, and, and support included that this company offers. Okay, so you would just simply click on download the quick start. It would download as it did for me. Yeah, I have it. And if I just check it, 60 megs as it says. And if you open it up, I've got the entire content of the website available. So if you can recall we're going to now copy the, the quick start and we're going to navigate to our C drive, our XAMPP folder, our HT docs and we're going to just paste it in there. Once it's pasted we're going to extract it to the Atlanta folder. Now this is about six times bigger than the uh, standard Joomla install because of all the extras it comes with so the extraction period might take a bit of time but five minutes or so it could be quicker so again I'm gonna just pause this video and I'm gonna resume once the extraction is completed okay the extraction is completed here's the folder right here in the HD docs well, check the size it's massive 130 megabytes so we know it's extracted successfully now what we need to do is I'm going to rename it to Atlanta so we can gain better access to the folder and if you can recall we need to now go to our local host and we need to go to our PHP my admin section and create a second database so we go to databases I'm gonna call it Atlanta DB going to copy that on my clipboard. I'm going to create it and I'm going to create a new tab. I'm going to go to local forward slash localhost forward slash Atlanta and we're going to see the installation process start. Okay now this might be a bit of a different well as you can see it's completely different from our previous uh, install 
Well, that's because this program, this this version of of Joomla itself, and the Quick Start comes with its own added components and extensions, such as a backup generator and all that. So, again, if you are a bit confused, they tell you do not panic. You can watch a video right here on how to do it, uh, or you can just simply read some documentation on it as well. But this is primarily the, the default pre-check to so make sure everything is in order which it is so we're gonna go ahead and click next and we're gonna start with the installation now here we go I'm gonna change the database name to what I've already created we're gonna keep it uh, as obviously localhost the username is root that's right and we're gonna click on next and it's going to start restoring the database I'm just gonna wait for it to complete and while this is happening I'm going to just it does not really take that long don't worry but I will pause the video and resume once the download or once the restoration at least is completed okay I'm back the restoration took about five extra minutes and we're now going to continue on to the next step and this is the site setup the basic parameters that we've obviously done previously where we get to choose our site name again you can obviously edit all this information I'm going to leave the site parameters as it is for now because I don't actually need to edit it I'm not going to be working with it I will just add my password which is admin007 uh, my login is admin and I'm going to go to the next step never okay now it's basically saying we're finished again just remove the installation directory which I'll do and it's done now we can get started and we can go view the front end of the website let's do it and there you have it localhost 4 slash Atlanta we've got the site installed all the information is here already exactly the same from the previous demo and we can start editing immediately it's um, it's quite amazing with what you can do with Joomla itself um, I really hope you guys did enjoy this uh, bonus video and the series in general I'm just going to log into administrator itself log in and I'm going to preview the site and from here you can start editing information if you have a look for example you've got your about Atlanta page you've got your home page with its standard information all you would do is you'd go straight to your content articles and you would notice all the information is here already you can start editing it whatever you want to do um, let's just try and find something that you can edit yeah, you got your web design portfolio. As you can see, yeah, we have web design. You got your home page information on your home page. You select that. You might notice that basically what we're looking at here is an HTML editor. So you obviously, if you're a new newcomer, you're not familiar with this sort of system. So I'm going to show you how you change it real quick. Uh, all you would basically do is you just let's close that. You would go to your system global configuration and you would change your default editor from code mirror to the tiny MCE save and close that and if we go back to our article editor and we go back to the home page article you'll notice the ribbon should be there again along with all the information that you can edit latest sto stories from our blog it's simple dummy content you know all that information is here you just got to find it and you can edit it accordingly another quick tip that you can actually use as well uh, to get yourself started is to go to templates template, man te template manager and simply go to the far right here go to the option section enable preview mode save it and if we go back to the actual uh, styles of the template manager you can see Atlanta here it's got the star and it's got like a master tag there 
you click on the little eyeball it shows you a preview of all the positions of all the content so you know ex exactly where to find it this year all this information is in the position showcase A these are in fact modules so all you would do is you would go to your extensions module manager and you would go to the search function and browse according to the position you want to access you got your home page accordion your home page A position shows you what's there latest from our blog and it just tells you what type of module it is and what information goes into that specific module this one basically says that it displays uh, your, the blog articles itself so you just close that let's find something else that we can sort of edit just go back to select position and for example your about us module yeah we can start editing it immediately I'm pretty sure if we go to the website we go to the about us section if you have to find it you would just from there let's click on the tab there we go that's looking familiar there's all the information right there so easy to use yes it is save and close preview the site or oh, I've got it open here let's refresh it and there we go changes are starting to happen immediately so that's how you would use the Joomla quick start functions this is just one specific quick start that's available that I've used off the net randomly at random I've never used it before as you can see myself navigating in the back end you're more than welcome to go out there and try and find yourself a less complicated a more limited but yet user friendly quick start it will help you through your learning process but this is exactly what you need if you're feeling confident and if you feel you can sort of edit in the back end of Joomla itself and you can start working on your website from there directly just remember remember regardless to the sections that you access make sure you look around and see what options are available you know if you're going to go to this part of the website make sure you put in the correct email address and all that and just have fun learn break and learn all over again that's how you can learn web design by yourself free just by using these simple steps Hope you guys enjoyed this series as much as I did. Please, if you have any advice, do not hesitate to let me know. I would love to come back and streamline my videos and perhaps add extra and additional free content, maybe of something I've spoken about or just something that you feel might be beneficial for uh, the members of this course. Thanks again. Have fun, everyone. Good luck. And see you soon in my next videos.